This is the story of how I created Twinkle Tartiflet, an interactive artwork using various lily pad modules connected with conductive thread. My inspiration came from a stylophone beatbox that I recently purchased as a present and had a play with. I pondered how one would go about making an interactive artwork using lily pad components. Anyway, I decided that I wanted to combine words, image and sound into an interactive experience, brought to life by touching the words with a stylus. I began to think about how I build this, and firstly decided on reusing the frequencies for notes worked out for a favourite ditty of mine, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, that I'd used in another artwork. I would transfer the two verses word for word onto felt stars, one star for each verse. There are six notes in the two verses of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so I needed to map out a schema for the conductive thread to pass from the words to the lily pad joining each word to the right note on the pin on the lily pad 2, being careful to select conveniently located pins. So to construct Twinkle Tartiflet, first I cut out two star shapes out of felt and began sewing on the words. Not being an experienced embroiderer, this wasn't easy or terribly pretty. After about a week of evenings, I had two stars with conductive thread sewn words in the right order. I was mindful to say the words carefully, so frayed thread did not touch each other and cause any shorts. Fabric glue is really good for sticking down frayed thread and keeping close knots apart. With the word stars completed, it was time to deploy the main sewing schema. I'd map notes to the words and then words back to the pins on the lily pad. After an intensive couple of weeks sewing evenings later, I thought I'd sewn all the words to the right notes and pins. Also, I added buzzer and battery modules. There were some interesting insulation bridging issues to be solved between the various paths of conductive thread, but I was ready to extract the code ideas from my brain and see if it'd all compile. The code I've written uses speaker module to produce simple musical notes from connecting the words with a stylus. I originally used a chart to match frequencies to the different notes. With my code loaded to the lily pad via a breakout board, it's time to test. Annoyingly, there was a problem. The buzzer was not playing the notes correctly, and after some thinking and testing with a multimeter, crocodile clips and a single resistor, a solution was concluded. I'd need to add some resistors. So unconnected, the circuit is connected to high, but when the stylus touches a word, it creates a simple circuit through the resistor and pulls it down to low. But I needed some resistance in between. Looking through a ton of resistors, 10k ohm seemed like a good fit, but where and how to add them was another question. <laughs> a small lily pad proto board that i had was just a job to solder the resistors to i had six notes in this so the proto board was just right thing was i only had five of the 10k ohm resistors but found another resistor that was just about near enough to work reading up later i found that there are 20k pull-up resistors that are built into the artemiga chip that can be accessed from software so i didn't really need to add the resistors after all but I didn't know that at the time, so hey ho, lesson learnt and all that. After some soldering, I had some more complex routing of conductive thread to do for the resistors on the freighter board. When testing, I discovered I'd fixed one problem, but found another to debug. Earlier, I said to be mindful of the pins. What I'd done was accidentally connected pin 13, which is the LED pin and has its own resistor, um, to the conductive thread, which is set far too low for this project. This showed up in resistance testing with the multimeter. The fix for the wrong pin incurred some more unpicking and rerouting of conductive thread. I used an analog pin as it was nearer and the least hassle to route to. This pin change required some um, change in the code. Finally, I decided the best thing to use for the stylus is a crocodile clip, which worked a treat. If you'd like to find out more about Twinkle Tartiflet, please go to my blog, I Love Kittens. It's a WordPress blog, rainycats.wordpress.com. Thanks very much for listening and happy hacking! Ready.